Now, this is the Dirk. <laughs> it's largely ceremonial, but nice to know it's there if, say, you're in Feltham shopping plants and making some late-night purchases, and someone comes at you, you whip out your Dirk, repel your attacker, and go on your way. Careful you don't... Ah! Ah! Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry, I've just cut my leg rather badly. Uh, but, but it doesn't matter, because... Here in my sporran, I have a tissue to staunch the bleeding caused by my dirk. Hi. Hey, Bob, when can you fit me in to go through the deep hole form? Darren, I don't think you should change your name to Fenton. No, I'm going to. Darren has been holding me back. There's nothing wrong with the name Darren. Darren McLaren. Apart from the fact that it rhymes, perhaps. <laughs> exactly. Nobody else's name rhymes. I don't know. There's actor Edward Woodward. Famously, of course, if he married Joanne Woodward, he'd have been Edward Woodward Woodward. <laughs> and if they'd moved to the sleepy commuter town of Woodford in Essex, he'd have been Edward Woodward Woodward of Woodford. Uh, Alice, Alison, can you give me any hints on how to get out of a sports car without showing my pants? No. <laughs> Colin, word of my office, please. Mint? <laughs> oh, oh, you've got quite a few there. Uh, save some for later. Thank you. Pencil for notes. Mm -hmm. Tape measure. Handy. Colin, I know you've grown rather keen on your kilt. Absolutely. I've rediscovered my thighs. <laughs> Tremendous. It's incredibly sensual, isn't it? Having material swishing around your legs. Yes, yes it is. It must be great being a woman. Uh, it can be, yes. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Colin, I don't want you to wear the kilt into the office anymore. Oh, why? Because it, it just looks stupid. Oh. Yeah, what if a client came in and saw you twirling like a girl? <laughs> I mean, you're not even Scottish. My mother's from Dundee. She's a Dundee Dougal. Oh, yes, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Can I still wear my sporran over my trousers? No. Hi. Hello. Hi. Why are you taking it off? I think Stella's worried that what started out as a bit of fun might escalate into full-blown cross-dressing. <laughs> Not like in the movie The Tootsie, starring Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> or um, Hoffin Dustman, as my wife used to call him. <laughs> Have you seen um, the Tootsie at all, or...? Oh, everyone's turned away. Colin, there's an old Chinese proverb. Don't be a dog, be a panda. Yes, absolutely. Sorry? Live by your own rules. Right. Oh. Hey, Fenton, how's it going? Oh, great, thanks. Hair's still looking great. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Stella, I've thought it through, and I really think I should be able to wear what I like. <laughs> Are you there? Yes. I've lived in your shadow for too long. The shadow that you cast over us. Are you still there? Yes. Nick agrees with me. I'm sorry. Colin! <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. You park in
in my space. You change Colin's personality, though admittedly it needed changing. <laughs> you look at me as if I've crawled out of a well. Well, I have got news for you. I wasn't the Hounslow Chamber of Commerce's legal eagle of 1991 just so I can watch you knock down everything we've painstakingly erected here. Okay, so it's a slightly ramshackle... Erection. Yes, exactly. But that's no reason to... Oh, you sorted out the Thompson litigation. That's good, good. And uh, yes, maybe a, a parking space is a slightly bourgeois affectation, but... Oh, you finished that too. Well, well done. <laughs> anyway, so, um, just, uh, just watch it. <laughs> so what do you all think of Nate, then? I like him. He's rather, nice. rather jolly. <laughs> Darren, we need some more toner. Darren. Darren. <laughs> Darren! Fenton? Yes, Bob? <laughs> Could you bring some more toner up, please? OK. And can we have some more paper as well, please? Who are you talking to? You. And who am I? <laughs> Bob, he won't get any paper unless I call him Fenton. Oh, for God's sake, call him what he wants. <laughs> Darren, come over here. We'll go through your deed poll form. Yeah, call him Darren rather than Fenton, Bob. I'm sorry, Darren. Fenton! Fenton! <laughs> what kind of a name is that anyway? It's classy. I deserve a classy name. Oh, stop it! Right. Bob, you should change your name too. <laughs> What's wrong with Bob? Well, it's too close to Blob, isn't it? It's confusing. <laughs> Hey, you could have Darren. That's become available. <laughs> no, thank you. I come from a long line of bobs. Colin, do you want to change your name to Darren? Uh, no, thanks. How about you, Ali? You could be, uh, Darena. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! The trousers on! No! Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going, Darren? Uh, is Fenton now? <laughs> You're not really going to change it to that, eh? <laughs> Well, then, why don't you give Alison a shot with that kilt? See if it makes at least one of you look good. <laughs> Bob, are you still working on that case? That's taken a while, hasn't it? Uh, I suppose so. I... Well, in your own time. I won't report you to the Society of Legal Executors. I think you'll find it's the Institute of Legal Executives. <laughs> Excuse me, Darren. Fenton. <laughs> Am I a bit of a fraud, Bob? With my parking space, my certainties, outlawing Colin Sporran, summoning people in here like some great big bloated Robert Maxwell, am I? I think Nick... Well, I, suppose I can't be that bad, though, can I? I mean, I don't... I don't insist on a separate executive toilet, do I? Um... No, I know I've got my own soap, you know, in a label soap dish, but that's... that's more of a medical precaution, really. <laughs> Stella... I don't know, maybe you're right about me and Nick. I mean, it's true. I don't like being challenged anymore. Last week, I told my mum off for talking to me while I was watching Points of View. <laughs> now, that can't be right, can it, after the terrible labour she had? I telephoned the agency, and they've, they've looked more closely at Nick's references. Apparently, one of his referees was P. Philip of Windsor. And the other was Mr. Oliver of Fagin Cottages, High Wycombe. I opened one of the letters he was writing, just... Blank paper in it. Right. And a toffee. <laughs> a toffee? Mm. Right. Where's Nick? He had to get something out of his car. Can I just say... <laughs> he isn't a solicitor. Apparently he just liked the idea of being one. He wanted to be a solicitor. 
You've genuinely qualified, haven't you, Colin? Yes. Good. So I call the pigs? Police. Police. <laughs> let's just um, let's put this down to experience, shall we? Colin, come in. I'll show you how to get out of a sports car without showing your pants. 